Hello, this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CC. Welcome to my overview of the Ticketmaster hack and what we know now. I'll also be discussing what you can do to protect your online account. In 2024, the hacking group known as Shiny Hunters has claimed responsibility for a massive data breach at Ticketmaster, affecting an astonishing 560 million customers. Ticketmaster reported the breach to the SEC on May 31st, revealing that unauthorized activity was first detected on May 20th. By May 27th, hackers were already attempting to sell the stolen data on the dark web for half a million dollars. The magnitude of this breach was not just in the numbers of affected customers, but also in the potential access hackers gain through Ticketmaster's network. Now that we understand the gravity of the Ticketmaster breach, let's talk about how you can protect yourself and your organization from similar threats. First, change your password on Ticketmaster. Navigate to My Account and then My Profile to update your password details. Using a password manager like Bitwarden, LastPass, or 1Password generate strong, complex passwords and unique passwords for every single website that you visit. That way, if this um, Ticketmaster, if you're using the same Ticketmaster password as you are for your email and other sites, now the hackers can potentially get into multiple sites and you need to change your passwords on all of those sites. Make sure your passwords are at least 14 characters long. Consider using a passphrase, a sentence with spaces. This method significantly enhances password strength and makes it easier to remember. Another crucial step is enabling multi-factor authentication. Now I didn't see that option on the Ticketmaster site, but you're going to want to set it for your banking, any other accounts that you have, and, and your emails. Be on the lookout for also phishing emails now that your email is known. MFA requires two or more forms of identification before granting access. This could be something you know, like a password or PIN, something you have, like a token or mobile device, and something you are, such as biometric data, like fingerprints or facial recognition. Using MFA can block over 99.9% .9 of account compromise attacks, as highlighted by experts from Microsoft, specifically Melanie Maines. True digital security, every phishing attack that we've seen could have been prevented with multi-factor authentication. And this is Rory Sanchez, the CEO of True Digital Security. And while you're at it, don't forget to pick up a copy of my book, A CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience. Will you learn more information in how to secure not only your identity online, but also protect your organization. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.